I'm doing great, man. I'm out of the woods. Y'all, have y'all seen Moonshiners on Discovery Channel? Dude, that is the most fun in the world to be on a show where you make moonshine with hillbillies up in the mountains on TV. What could go wrong? I went up and met with these moonshiners. We're going to start the show in a minute. I went up and met with these moonshiners. They go, Killer Bees, do you like apple pie? Dumbass me. I'm like, well, I'm a cobbler man myself. (laughs) No, stupid, the pouring kind. That's when I realized they meant apple pie moonshine. Do you know of it? Okay. They gave me, y'all, they gave me some apple pie moonshine. I do not think it was real. I think it was a placebo. Because I didn't even get a buzz. I mean, not even a buzz off of it. All it did was make the clocks in the motel jump forward nine hours. (laughs) And my car got towed. And my left shoe went missing. That's how you know it's real. You got a shoe missing. So moonshining teaches you lessons. I learned if you ever find yourself at an illegal moonshine still cooking a batch of moonshine, remember this lesson. Number one most important lesson is hot metal. <laughs> Looks just like cold freaking metal. <laughs> I have no fingerprints on either of my hands. <laughs> the Discovery Channel also has the show Naked and Afraid. I think they should combine that moonshiners <laughs> with Naked and Afraid. Yeah. yeah, look, look, they can call it, they can call it, why is everybody saying I'm naked? <laughs> I, you know, I, I tell you something else moonshine has taught me. That is, if you want to change the attitude of your spouse, your loved one, accidentally shoot through the house with a gun. <laughs> They'll get, they'll get back on the pill, you do that. <laughs> now, true story, true story. I had a rare weekend off tour. A rare weekend at home. So my wife and I are relaxing, chilling at the crib. <laughs> watching scary movies on TV, drinking apple pie moonshine. <laughs> Uh, We are what we drink, by God. Anyway, scary movie, a commercial comes on. My wife turns to me and says, teach me how to load the gun. (laughs) Don't get ahead of me. Y'all, if your spouse, if your spouse, your loved one says to you, teach me how to load the gun, the proper response isn't, I'll get bullets, you fix more drinks. <laughs> I'm glad y'all think this is funny. Cause I, in about 30 more seconds, I'll tell you the part where my wife got really pissed. So she goes, teach me how to load the gun, y'all. It's a revolver. I go, baby, open the cylinder. I showed her how to do it. I put the, I said, put the bullets in. I put them in like an idiot. (laughs) I said, close the cylinder, turn it till it locks in place. Sounded simple, y'all. She goes, well, what happens if it doesn't lock? Y'all, I had a buzz. I pulled the trigger to see. Guess what? (laughs) Say what? Say what? What? Time stands still. (laughs) 
when you accidentally shoot to the house with the gun. Lots of stuff goes on in that split second. First of all, you realize you're not shot. And that's good. Then you see the look on your wife's face. And that's bad. Makes you, makes you wish you'd been kind of nicked. I jumped in front of the bullet. I'm a hero. I am. Because she had that expression that means she had flashed back to the wedding ceremony. She's like, did that preacher say through stupidity? <laughs> loud in the house. Loud, loud. The neighbors came running over, beat on the door, ran inside, and went, bees, our car windshield just exploded for no reason. <laughs> And that big black dog across the street just laid down. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know I can see him through that peephole. <laughs>